Hey guys, it's Mr. Creative here, and today we're going to be talking about what are these? These right here are called Mercury switches. They had many different uses. They were used for automotive uses, like sensing when the trunk was open. They were also used for things like float switches, maybe in like a tank of gasoline. The reason why they would use it in something like a tank of gasoline is because these can't arc. They're all encapsulated in a small tube. So even if they did create an arc, it wouldn't go to the fumes and it wouldn't ignite anything. This is very important because if you had something like a tilt switch with a ball in it or something and it was uh, not properly encapsulated like these are, then if it arced, it could make an explosion. But of course, they don't use these nowadays. You can also find different types of them in things like old thermostats. But of course, nowadays they don't use that either. Now, I wanted to bring these up because they're really interesting. Of course, as we know of today, mercury is a hazardous substance. But to be able to have one of these today is kind of interesting. Think about it. These were used in daily objects, and it contained a substance that is now labeled as hazardous material. You can still buy these on places like eBay and all that. Now, the thing is, is that these really aren't that dangerous, okay? They're dangerous if I was to drop this and crack it. Um, I've never done that. And even if you touch this stuff, it really wouldn't be that bad. If this gets into your bloodstream, if you eat it, if it goes in your nose or anything like that, then you can get mercury poisoning. Still, you shouldn't take the chance, so that's why they made it a hazardous substance. Because people were getting mercury poisoning from this. But I just find it so interesting how the mercury flows. So that's why I have three of them here. They were given to me by a good friend of mine. I'll give you some close-up shots of the mercury switches so you can see what I'm talking about and how cool these things are. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you learned something today, and um, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. And don't forget to stay creative.